the Dallas Texans boys 91 red team. They are head coached by da David Hudgel. David Hudgel. The keeper is John Kajak. Number three, a defender will be Travis Payne. Number four, a defender will be Scott Lutke. Number five, who's going to be going to Dayton, is a defender Matt Russo. Number six, at forward, will be Ziad Z. Lamon. Number seven, at midfield, who's going to VMI, Virginia Military Institute. At midfield, Peyton Decker. Number eight at midfield is Hugh Anderson. Number nine, who's going to the University of Tulsa at midfield is Tanner Petrick. Number 10 at midfield will be David De La Russa. Number 11 at midfield will be Anthony De La Russa. Number 12 at defender in midfield will be Hugo De La Russa. Number 13 at mid or forward is Ryan Parr. Number 14 at forward is Steven Halton. Number 16 at defender in midfield is Doug Butler. Number 17 at forward in midfield is Keegan Terry. Number 18 is Billy Geza O'Dyer. Number 19 at midfield is Jared Blinko. Number 20 at defender is Dustin Troy Hall. Number 21 at forward, he's going to SMU, that's Ben Hill. Uh, number 22, playing at midfield def defender or a forward position is Brandon Hageman. And number 23 is also a keeper, Michael Murray. And now for the Apatiadores, the academy team from Mission Viejo, the keeper will be Nico Shackleford. Number two at center back will be Brian Yasakuchi. Number three at center mid will be Alex Lopez. Number four at left defender will be Will Plesco. Number five at right mid will be Drew Dunn. Number six at center mid is Zung Park. Number eight at right defender is Andy Kymak. Number nine at right or left mid is Connor Edgecombe. Number 11 at right or left mid is Benny Estes. Number 12 at center defender is Brian Ponce. Number 15 at forward is Jordan Wolf. Number 16 at center defender is Nate Arambola. Number 17 at outside mid is Julio Swartz. Number 18 at forward is David Felix. And number 19 at forward is Jomed Tajan. All right, action set to get underway here at the uh, Polo Grounds, San Diego Polo Grounds, here in the city of Del Mar. The Surf Cup 2008, going from left to right, is the uh, Dallas Texans 91 Boys Red Team, and from right to left is the Patia Dores Academy Team. And here's a ball headed toward the 18-yard box, but cut off by the Patia Dores. Man, they have the touches on it here, but uh, can't control. On the near side will be a throw in. <laughs> Travis Payne. Payne. Try to work it over to his teammate that time, which was Ben Hill, but he didn't get to it. And now on to it is uh, Kymak. Kymak working out to the wide, but that one was intercepted at midfield. Kymak coming into the space for the Patiadores, and now his teammate over there, Julio Suarez, trying to get a touch on it. That ball goes out of play. They couldn't control it. So the Dallas Texans 91 boys red team throw it in. The Dallas Texans again as I mentioned coached by David Hagel. Um, they are rated as America's best, <coughs> the Dallas Texans soccer club, the best soccer club as rated by the Soccer America for this year. Here's the service toward that attacking third, but uh, taking away Alex Lopez with a touch on it. Tope, Lopez drawing it back to Plesco, and Plesco sending it across midfield, and it comes to the near side now over to David Felix. Felix waiting for his teammates, and he has a teammate there, and that happens to be uh, Suarez. Suarez in a corner, and let's see, do we have an offside call? Yes, we do and it'll be a goal kick. You're watching Boys Under 19 action here at the Surf Cup 2008. Greg G.K. Porter, happy to be with you along with uh, George Langevin on the camera. 
Teeing it up is Travis or is uh, John Kashak, the keeper. And Kashak getting it all the way up to uh, Petrick, and then it goes right back to him as uh, being guarded there by uh, Decker, Peyton Decker. Pey Peyton Decker, who's going to VMI, Virginia Military Institute. And now there's a play to center of the field, and you have a foul. Ben Hill taking it on that one. And now the Patiadora is they draw it back to Nico Shackelford. Shackelford wants to draw it to the right side. Getting it to midfield and we have a foul and that's going to go against the Patiadores Academy team. Academy team league is an interesting one. Only play about 30 games a year. And a lot of strategy involved because you know each other a lot more. And that's a foul. And this time, Ben Hill getting the worst of it. And let's see his team. Will they have the free kick? And it's not going, they're not going to get it. And Hill has been kind of roughed up here in the early going. The uh, 19, under 19 year old player going to uh, SMU. But I'm sure you will be hearing from him as this game goes on in an offensive uh, posture. One that you'll have to deal with if you're the defenders for the Patiadores. As they draw it back to the wide side now, far side of your picture. And a collision there, center ref allows him to play on. 45 minute halves. Just like World Cup soccer. And why not? These guys are old enough to be able to handle that kind of stuff. They're going to have to handle it, so why not? College soccer and the like. A number of players on both teams. We know of the ones on the Dallas Texans 91 boys red team. Here's a free kick for the Patiadores. Nil-nil score here in the first half. Wind blowing in the favor of the kick and a save by Kashik. Getting up high to make the save, he in the red cleats. No problem that time. The deflections are the ones that uh, or the base and the arc on the ball can really be the toughest thing. They're usually the keepers at this level. They can handle the most, most saves that are pretty much direct and don't have too much of an arc on them or any kind of a deflection. Toward the attacking third, Patia Dordes have to defend in their box now and coming out with it is Shackelford. That ball directed right at Nico, but nobody to try to redirect it in the back of the net, so he has no problem, and he slingshots it off to the right. Plenty of numbers for the Dallas Texans over there in the space. Ben Hill a touch, drawing it back to his teammate, and a long ball played into the corner, and that's going to be an offside call. Little bit too much pace on it by Ben Hill. Shackelford now. Going to get it started from their deep back. On to it now, Alex Lopez. Lopez still maintaining possession and getting it over to his teammate now to Wolf. Wolf in the central, but losing his, loses it. Giving away to the Dallas Texans, and they have it now. Good possessions there, but then they get a long ball played across midfield and give it up. Back the other way, here's Suarez. Suarez on the far side. Suarez still on the soccer ball. Tries to uh, bend it at, towards the service, towards the box, and they didn't quite get it there as it was nicely defended by the Dallas Texans. 
And now here is uh, Suarez again, a service into the box. And they do get a strike on it, but too high. Deflected off of one teammate and went to their uh, player in that box who could strike it. And he just went a little bit too high. David Felix. So it is going to be still nil-nil. And Kashik going to decide which way to go with it. He's going to go to the left side of the offense. And it's intercepted that time by uh, Edgecombe. Edgecombe going to go to the wide with it. And now back to the central. Edgecombe didn't get it. And they're going to give it up to the Texans. De La Rosa working it from a deep back. And the touch there by Matt Russo. Russo now over to Halton. Halton pushing it forward over to Ben Hill. Here's Hill now. Always dangerous. Ben Hill to the wide side, and it's knocked out of play as they keep him from progressing on. And that defensive third of the Patiadores. And the academy team now will have to cinch up the defense here. Nail, nail your score. The Dallas Texans now with Ben Hill drawing it over to his teammate, De La Rosa. They still maintain possession on it. They draw it back now towards the service in the central. Running after it now is Lemon, but he couldn't get to it as he was uh, being marked very well that time. Here's Plesco. He draws it back, gives it over to uh, Kymek. Kymek. And he draws now back to uh, Ponce. Ponce now looking for somebody, and he finds his teammate, Alex Lopez. Lopez with space, and he's going to get a long ball, but that one's intercepted. And now here they go back on a counterattack in the central, looking for Hill, but it's intercepted. They positioned themselves well to keep that ball from getting to Ben Hill. And now this time it goes over to Felix on the near side. Felix has his teammate Tajan, but Tajan wasn't able to hold on to it, taken away by the Texans on the near side. Felix intercepts it, and it goes over to Suarez. And a foul. And we're going to have a free kick. Free kick now. Outside the 18-yard box on the near side of your picture with Julio Suarez, who was dumped on the play. Suarez regathers himself and sets it up. You see in the foreground, the Clouds over there, and that's a normal thing for San Diego County. They get a little bit of humidity out toward the east. Here's Suarez, his service into the box, a bending ball, and it's way too much for the back post for anybody to uh, be able to uh, control it. So we stay at nil-nil here in the first half. Maybe about 10 minutes gone. Cash it. The boys red number not year 91 team. Northern Texas State champions of 2008 and 07 and 05. Number of plaudits for this Dallas Texans 91 boys red team. As you see there with De La Russa drawing it back into a touch to Ben Hill. And Hill over to Petrick. Petrick now in the central. Petrick weaving his way. He left foots at it and he nearly beats a keeper. Nice move by Petrick and he nearly beats a keeper on the low side. But we are still at near nil nil. Tanner Petrick, and that's why Tulsa, number nine, has uh, decided to have him as a part of their forces in the fall. Moves like that into the defense for the boys 91 red team of the Dallas Texans. Coming out with it is Decker, and he gives way now. Edgecombe 
In a corner now. They still weaving their way to Patia Dores. They work it back to Alex Lopez. Lopez trying a blast, but his attempt deflected. Here's Ben Hill at midfield. He falls down and on the near side. And he chases after it, putting pressure that time on Ponce, and he had to give it up. And he gets it over to his teammate now, who was um, Tijan. Tijan working it out to the wide now. On it now is Yasakochi. They get more touches toward the box now, continuing on. But coming out with it that time is uh, Petrick. Petrick playing well in the space defensively that time. Trying to bring it down is De La Rosa on a near side. They chase it down, but it'll be a foul. And Anthony De La Rosa will get it started. Center ref doesn't like his placement there. And he says, bring it back. Jared Blinko. Blinko, the midfielder. We'll try to get a service into the box. Try to get somebody to touch it. And it was uh, the other team, the academy team, the Patia Dores. And they'll work it in the center circle now with touches there on a through ball. Chasing it down, though, is Travis Payne. And over to Kashik, who drives it up toward the center circle again. Petrick there. Edge cone. And that ball goes out to the wide now with the Dallas Texans. The Patiadores finding a player. That's Jordan Wolf in the central, but he couldn't quite control it as his momentum was going backwards. Touches in their own half of the field. Felix with it again on the return pass. And the deep back Ponce wanting to go back to his keeper. But Ben Hill putting pressure on him. And now in this space, they find another of the deep dark blue. And that is Alex Lopez. But he couldn't control it as he lost his balance. But they'll get the throw in. David Felix toward the box. But Kashuk has it. No problem that time. Comes off his line. Now in the central, the Texans working it out of their own half of the field. Over to Ben Hill for a touch. Can they get it another touch on it? They did, but it didn't last long as they give it away to Kymek and company going the other way on a counter. And intended pass, nicely stepping into space was Travis Payne. Nice play by Payne that time because the striker was just behind him and would have had a beautiful opportunity to put it in the back of the net. They go back the other way and it goes out of play. It'll be a throw in. Nil nil your score here. The Patia Dores Academy team and the Dallas Texans. Boys red team. And they try to go on a far side. Try to get it over to Jordan Wolf, and he does get to it. And that ball goes out of play. Or actually, it was a foul on the play, so it is now going to be a free kick. A free kick for the academy team. Drive into the box toward the back post, and they just couldn't quite get another touch on it. Kymek going up high that time. Andy trying to find somebody on a back post to finish it. And he just missed him. Kashik now. The goal kick. Nil-nil your score. Not without both teams having chances and probably if you're keeping uh, track of that, the more chances have been for the Patia Dores Academy team, the more quality chances at least. Jordan Wolf now. Wolf gets it over to his teammate Lopez. Lopez going to go out uh, wide to Tishan, but he doesn't quite get to it. It's taken away. Nicely done that time in the back by Russo. 
Russo, he gives way though to Lopez. Lopez trying to find uh, Suarez, but he just missed him. Taken away, they still have some touches on it in midfield, but coming nicely was Tanner Petrick, and he kind of interrupted their action there. And now they have to draw it all the way back to uh, Shackelford. The reason why Petrick is going to Tulsa. And this one is head toward the keeper, and he makes a great play. Cash hit coming off his line. Nice job that time, as he had a lot of traffic coming at him, and he's able to make the save. Come on, Petrick. Petrick now. Now over to uh, Lemon, Ziad Z. Lemon, trying to put pressure with Petrick and Hill now. Hill trying to turn around, falling down. They take it away. However, coming into the space nicely is Payne. Payne now, as they seem to have the touches now. And the possessions here. Over to Petrick. Petrick drawing it to the central. And a touch for uh, De La Rosa. Petrick now. Patrick manned up, going to go back out to the wide to uh, De La Rosa. His service into the box, but nobody was there that time as the central was covered by the academy team. And now they almost go by it at a shot by Ben Hill, and he just couldn't quite get it in the net that time as he felt he was rushed and just took the blast. But nice touching that time of the soccer ball, good possession time by the uh, boys red 91 team of the Dallas Texans soccer club and they do a fine job of uh, eating off the clock and tiring up their opponents. Finding maybe some weaknesses in, in the process. Into the corner now and Kashik just barely being able to touch the soccer ball on a corner of the box. And he slingshots it over to Travis Payne. Payne now looking for a service towards his teammate Lemon, but uh, it did not get to him. On a near side, it'll be a throw in. Nil nil is your score. The Apache Adore's Academy team and the Dallas Texans 91 Boys Red team here in the Sunder 9 match of the Surf Cup 2008. 45 minute and a half, we're working our way towards half of that in the first half. Petrick with a touch, but he's going to give way over to Will Plesko, the academy team, and now they have a drive. Petrick gets to it, though, and he'll drive it back to his teammate Decker. Decker on a soccer ball, Peyton Decker now on a far side, chasing it down. Will he be able to? get it in, but uh, he won't be able to keep it in. Ran out of real estate on the far side. Julio Suarez will throw it in. The ball with the geometric designs of the world's most famous sport. Football called in most countries, soccer here in America. At midfield, the far side of your picture, but take it away now. De La Rosa. And he tries to make a move, and there's a foul. Going to be a free kick, and a quick kick over to Petrick. Petrick now to the near side to Travis Payne. Payne now with plenty of space and time. Payne looking deep and just caught by Shackelford on the save. Shackelford going up high. He knew if he didn't get it, it would have been a problem that time and probably 1-0. On the long ball, all the way down, and going at him was Jordan Wolf. But Kashik able to stay patient and make the save. Jordan Wolf won V with a keeper that time, and Kashik able to stay patient and make the save. But Wolf bearing down on him. In the central now, Patrick drawing it back to Kashik. Kashik, Kashik working it to uh, Payne on the near side. Payne want to draw back to the central of Decker. Peyton Decker going to work it to the far side of the field for their offensive attack, pushing it up the field. 
And a touch by Matt Russo. Russo now off of a touch by uh, Petrick and then drawing it back to De La Rosa. And now here is uh, Petrick. And it's going to be a foul. Tanner Petrick with a free kick. How will he approach this, or will he give way? No, he's going to give way to De La Rosa. Anthony De La Rosa. And as they like to call it, at least to a guy that I grew up with, Ant for short. The bending ball, trying to get Ben Hill to touch it. It was intercepted, so De La Rosa draws it back. Got the lone deep back player of Decker, and then he pushed it up forward to Payne, and now De La Rosa a touch, but he gave it away. He was trying to get Stephen Holton to touch it, but they go back the other way on their counterattack, does the academy team, and they have numbers there. Still on top of it in the central. They work it back over to Suarez. Suarez now gave it away, and he missed tried on that one of a service or a potential shot at the keeper however Wolf now switches it he was trying to get a teammate on the near side to run onto it couldn't get it and now to central the red of the Dallas Texans here's Patrick Patrick weaving his way Patrick is dangerous Patrick in the central Patrick toward the ball he back kicks it over the hill, but he couldn't control it. And still chasing after it. And the academy team who knows how to play technically. And they keep him away from that soccer ball. But boy, that was close. They had a good play going. Patrick and Hill. And if Hill could have maintained possession of it, they would have had a brilliant opportunity to put it in the net. Back the other way on a counter. Wolf on a nice service, a header, and a goal. Julio Suarez from number 15, Jordan Wolf on a beautiful run into the service, the service into the box of the central of the box. He finds Suarez there, and it's 1 0. So 1 0 here in the first half. And the Wolf and Suarez combination get on the board here. But the Texans are in no means out of this contest. Not with only one on the board. The Patiadores Academy team, though, they come back down the field again in the near side with David Felix putting pressure on the defenders. Patrick was back there, along with uh, Lemon Ziad, covering in the space with Travis Payne. And now they can get numbers in their side of the field defensively. Try to protect the 18-yard box. However, they got players just outside the box, weaving his way. Here's Tejad, but he lost control of it. Yomed Tejad trying to make a move, but uh, he just didn't have enough control of the soccer ball. And nobody there to help him out. So they're going to give way to the uh, restart, the goal kick. Patrick, his own half of the field, push it across midfield. And it's going to be a foul. Working against the academy team. And they give way to the free kick now. Patrick. Gets it started quickly to De La Rosa. De La Rosa draws it back over to his teammate Blinko. Blinko to the outside now. They want to try it from the far side, and they try to work it to Hill and just retreating back that time with Tijan. But had they still have it, they take a shot on the near side, and they just miss it past the uh, goal line, and it's still 1-0. Uh, Patia Dores from Mission Viejo area. Got a few new players on his team uh, this time of year, August. The second weekend of the San Diego Surf Cup. 
Greg G.K. Porter, along with George Langevin, pleased to be with you here. Day number two, the Olders in a surf cup. Driven to midfield. Jordan Wolf tried to control it, but he couldn't get to it. Now he has it. And now he's going to have a through ball to his teammate Suarez, but retreating back nicely that time in a space was uh, Peyton Decker. Decker says, I will get back there and I will make the play in a space. And he did. On the near side, Apatia Dores. The academy team going to throw it in to Will Plesco. Plesco not controlling enough to get it to correctly to a teammate. And they give way to Petrick and trying to give forward on the pass to Halton, but he didn't get to it. It was intercepted. Nice challenge and sent back the other way for the counter. But getting back there nicely is Decker. Decker going to the Virginia Military Institute. Nice play in a space. Drawing that one out of there. And it will be a throw in. You say, does that help out? Well, in a way, in the first half, it does. You get a breather for your teammates, even though you're down 1 0. And you can retreat back, more importantly, into space and play defense into the 18 yard box. Tejan couldn't handle it. And it goes all the way out to the top now for Kymic. And Andy Kymic didn't get anything on that one. And we have substitution of two players. Work our way more than midway through the first half of action. For the Texans, Ryan Parr will come in, number 13. Parr, the midfield forward type. And also Keegan Terry, the forward midfield type. And is coming out Halton and Billy Giza. O'Dwyer. And touching it very quickly there is Terry. Terry toward the box and taken away. However, they still have it just outside the box. With Ben Hill, he takes a blast and a save. Shackleford making the save. Not the toughest of save for Shackleford, but Ben Hill letting him know they got to strong a foot even against the wind. Going to be a throw in. On a far side. Midfield now. Trying to control and doing it nicely that time is uh, Yasukuchi. Or uh, that was Alex Lopez, rather. And Lopez doesn't find Tejan giving it away to the red of the Texans. Petrick now on the near side finds Lemon Ziad on the run and is blocked that time by David Felix. Felix getting back to maintain the space defensively and knock that one past the goal line. But he's going to, he and his team is going to give up a CK. So set piece try here for the Dallas Texans. They're down one nil here in the first half, trying to even it up with Patrick. Mr. Patrick drives it into the box and being able to find it is Shackelford. So Shackelford able to find it and a set piece not getting what they want out of that one. And Tijan on the run but uh, not able to control that one was Yamed. So in the deep back they'll throw it in. The Dallas Texans boys a red team of 1991. These guys have been playing all these years together for the most part. Know each other very, very well. As we have a free kick. Foul in the space. Patrick working it to De La Rosa. He works it out to Ryan Parr. And now here's a service into the box. Heel up high, and he gets it to the backside over to Jamont. And he just couldn't quite do anything with it. Lemon, that was. Ziad.
And here they come on a counterattack. The Patti Adoras, but stepping into space. Travis Payne very nicely, but on the near side, trying to keep it in. And that ball is out. Suarez couldn't keep, or David Felix couldn't keep it in that time. As they've thrown it in now to Petrick. Petrick across midfield to De La Rosa. And he looked for his teammate. He does get the touch, but Wolf will be in between his teammate. Wolf against two defenders and gets a shot off. But uh, Kashik is able to handle that one. And Wolf says, I made a run anyway. And to try and see what I can do to maybe try to get it in the back of the net. But they were able to defend nicely to keep him from getting a good quality shot on the play. But the giveaway was back in midfield, and that was could have been costly. And substitutions for the Patiadores as they get fresh players in. Number six coming into the contest, and that's uh, Jung Park. And service into the box, and whoever else that came in, we'll mention them as they touch that soccer ball and a blast that time by De La Rosa, and he's not able to get that one in the back of the net and finish. Not without a good, decent attempt there at the top of the box. 11 minutes remaining. About 11 minutes unofficially left to go in the first half. One nil your score. Step him up, Danny. Retreating back into space that time was Keegan Terry. And on it now is uh, Rambula. Nate Arambula. He plays number 16 out there. One nil. The Dallas Texans behind in this one to the Patiadores. Mission Viejo area here in San Diego or uh, in Southern California. Coming down here to San Diego. The visitors from Texas trying to see what they can do to get that equalizer here in the first half. Connor Edgecombe was chasing that one down and he'll throw it in. Edgecombe, and that was knocked out nicely by Matt Russo getting up high. Winning the 50-50 attempt. Let's see, do we have a substitution coming in? Went all the way to the other field. That's what it was, and a throw in. I believe Jordan Wolf did come out of the contest. And we definitely have substitutions on the near side for the Dallas Texans. And in the last eight to 10 minutes, they're going to see what they can do. With Hugh Anderson coming in and Doug Butler coming in. Anderson of mid midfield type and also can play either defender or midfield as Doug Butler. In the mid to high 70s here at the San Diego Polo Grounds in the city of Del Mar. With the breeze, very, very comfortable. Hundred and seven degrees back in uh, Dallas, Texas. So the Texans very happy to be here playing this this match in the sense of temperature. Oh, but they know how to play in their own tournaments back home and play very, very well at a high clip. On the near side, Hugh Anderson. Anderson driving it forward. That wind knocking it down. And on the near side. He goes out of play, it's going to be a throw in. Kymic dropping it off so the Texans can throw it in. Throwing it in was Payne. Petrick drawing it back to Decker. Decker has been playing stellar in the central. 
Getting it up that time to Butler. Butler swinging it to the far side, but coming into the space with a lot of speed, Nate Arambola. And Arambola now service in the box towards uh, Tajan, but he couldn't quite get to it as it turned out to be a shot. And Kashik making a save. So the counterattack quickly, and it won't fall down. And that foul is going to go against the Patia Daughters. No card. Into the box, chasing it down, and inter intercepted that time by Brian Ponce coming over to cut it off in the space. Nice job defensively. Tejan trying to get to it. He can't, though. Nicely done by Decker. However, he's able to retreat and get it into the corner now. Decker, he's got his teammate there, Payne, but they're able to get around him out of service, and it's intercepted in the central. However, still on it is a Pateadora as they try another strike. Another strike again. They're still on a soccer ball to the central now, and now a blast, and they just do not quite finish on it that time. But they had some touches there, and they continue to maintain possession, whereas Andy Kymek trying to make it 2-0. Takes a blast and misses. Couple players on the Texans not really happy about what transpired on that sequence. Offensive attack for the Patiadores. Maybe a little bit of rough play. Happens. Kashik gonna drive it. All the way to midfield, he gets a touch there by his teammate, but they take it away to the Patiadores. They have something going on the far side now. As they work it over to Jung Park. Park trying to control it, but he could, as he turned, he gave it away to De La Rosa. And now here's Patrick on the run. Patrick on the run, he's still after the soccer ball. Chasing it down into the corner, and he shows his effort to stay on that soccer ball and not allow the defender to get something going. Protecting very, very well. Patrick down. Giving it to De La Rosa, over to Hill. Hill now deft, uh, controlling and his teammate, and he just couldn't quite bring it down. He had a teammate flying in the central that time, and that was Hugh Anderson, and he just couldn't quite bring it down. Otherwise, they would have had a, a goal on the play. Because Shackelford was beat, and that was just too high. So it's still 1-0. Time running out, just moments left here in the first half. It's been a great first half of action here in the Surf Cup 208. Touch there quickly by Keegan Terry. And again, Terry working out to the wide. They try to rush for the left side, and they just missed putting it in side to near post. It'll be a corner kick. Shagelford looking at that rush of red coming at him and breathes a sigh of relief that time. So they will try to see K from the far side of your picture. Down one nil, trying to get one before the close of the first half. And it goes out to Petrick. Can he get to it first? He does. He shows his speed, a heel pass, but nobody is there, so he gives way to the blue. To the wide side with uh, Suarez. Suarez on it, his service into the box, but too much pace on it that time. And they're going to give way to the Texans who have control now at midfield. Hugh Anderson and his turn over to his teammate now. Over to Keegan Terry. Terry work it out to the wide to Petrick. Petrick. Has a teammate there on the near side, still on control of it. And that is uh, Parr. Ryan Parr trying to get it to Hill, but that ball was too much towards the corner of the 18-yard box, way far away from Ben Hill. And so back the other way on the counterattack. 
Drew Dunn chasing it down. He runs out of real estate on the near side. So he'll give way to the Texans to keep it going here. Still trying to get one in before the close of the first half. Here's De La Rosa. De La Rosa now gives it over to Patrick. Tanner Patrick, service into the box. Looking for Ben Hill, and Hill not happy that time with the center ref because he felt he had a player over the, the top of his back. But no call. In the back. Now, Decker to De La Rosa. Over to Hill. Hill drops it off nicely. Trying to get it to the central, and they have a player there, and it's knocked away in the last moment by Shackelford. To the far side, they're still on it. And a shot, and off of one bounce, Shackelford is able to make the save. Oh, nice save by Shackelford as he's able to leap up to the right of his right um, post and able to make that save. And now he'll draw it down toward the central of the field for somebody to run onto it. Matt Russo can't get to it. So they're going to give way in a quick throw in. De La Rosa now in the space trying to challenge, and he gives way to more touches now by the Patiadores Academy team showing their technical abilities in this game to control the soccer ball when they need to. However, only one play where they've really been able to get the good quality shot and good quality play, and it resulted in the goal. They've had other control of the soccer ball in the attacking third, but the kid could not maintain possession of it or control the soccer ball well enough to either get a good pass or a good shot. Otherwise, they might have had more in this game. But at the same time, the Texans putting the pressure on. They've had numbers inside the 18-yard box. They've made Nico Shackelford work in this game, and he's made some great saves. Will it say 1-0 in the first half, or will it be 1-1? Or will it be 2-0? Time running out. Center ref, well aware of the clock. Injury time, working on that. Brought to the outside now. Connor Edgecombe trying to find a teammate to run on it. Here's Edgecombe again, still on it. Edgecombe making a nice play to shield the defender. Still has his teammates on the soccer ball to Pat Diodores. Pat Diodores is in a corner. Part of this is wasting time, but they get a service across the mouth of the six-yard box, but nobody there. Goes to the far to the near side and all the way out of the near side touch line. Still 1-0 in the back. Petrick wants to get a rush up the field, and he won't be able to do it as he runs out of time in the first half, the first 45 minutes, Surf Cup 208. The Patiadores from the Mission Viejo area leading 1-0 over the Dallas Texans Boys Red 1991 team. Stick around and you'll see what goes on at halftime and then we'll be back with the action here in the Surf Cup 208 second half.
Okay, action set to get underway here in the second half. And of course, as you know on uh, video, it's going to be left to right for the uh, Patiadores and from right to left now for the Texans. And of course, when you look at that scenario, you're going to see players that uh, you may not have seen up close and personal in the first half. You'll see them on the near side. Now here early on, trying to get something going. They do get a touch and a goal! Go, 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 and he put it in the back of the net. And in the world's most famous sport, that's what you got to be careful of in the opening moments of the half or the closing moments of the half. And taking advantage of it, the boys' red 1991 Dallas Texan team. And they are equal up now, 1-1. And obviously, with their coach David Hudgel, a very successful coach over the last 15, 20 years, has shown that he knows how to find a way to get his team to be successful in matches. And already they've shown that uh, they can equalize this one and have a chance to win it. Into the corner now. Scott Ludke defending. David De La Rosa, who we didn't even really see that much in the first half. He's been a switch in the central on the attacking side, and he was very instrumental in getting that first goal. Ryan Parr, the man who scored the goal. And off the 50-50 attempt, it's going to be a uh, free kick now for the Texans. You know, over to Petrick. On the near side, going to be a throw-in for the academy team. Yeah, mid. Tejan trying to make a play, and it turns out to be it's going to be a foul and a free kick now at midfield. 1-1 one, one your score here in the opening moments of the second half of the Surf Cup 2008. Greg G.K. Porter, happy to be with you with George Langevin on the camera, the man who created all our video stuff many, many years ago. Done a lot of surf cups and enjoyed every single one of them and thankful to be a part of every single one of them. The pride of San Diego County. Patrick and he is foul. And he climbed it. the foul. Over the back of Tanner Petrick. Patrick, calm and cool though. Going to play college soccer over at the University of Tulsa. Hugo De La Rosa in the back, driving it up forward, but met with resistance and back. They have to retreat now. Dustin Troy Hall, we didn't see him in the first half. And Troy Hall driving it back to his keeper. There's two defenders coming here. The throw in. And now here is a Tijan trying with speed, but they cut him off. Nice play and defensively in the space on that 18 yard box. However, they give away again. And a service into the box. They got a player who's free. Oh, coming over. Great play by Scott Ludke. Oh, he came over and cut it off. 
And if he doesn't come over in a space at the last moment, they got a great chance of putting it in the back of the net and take the lead. But Ludke came over, made the big play. You don't be a successful soccer club. You don't be a successful soccer team without plays like that. Here's a bending ball off the set piece. They're trying to get somebody to run onto it on the far side, still having problems. And the Texans come out with it and push it up the field. 1-1 your score here in this very exciting game. The boys under 19, the foul here in the second half. The Texans tying it up. Keegan Terry now going to give way towards that free kick of the Patiadores. Deflected, I believe that might have been deflected off of Terry. If not, one of his teammates and they keep it from going toward that defensive third. Now at midfield with only two in the deep back, the Patiadores trying to keep the attack on to the far side, but coming over is Anderson and he drives it up to Terry. Terry giving it over to De La Rosa. That's David De La Rosa. And now is Patrick always dangerous. Patrick finds a man. He's wide open on the near side. Par! And the central, and they're able to defend that time. But De La Rosa's still on it, and he takes a shot. And it's too high. Like a chip that time, and he would have loved to have that one brought down a little bit less on the velocity and the height. He has been uh, instrumental on the attack here in the second half early on, creating problems for the dark blue. And the academy team, though, they know what to do, though. When things strat strategically start happening against their defense, and they tighten up. So it will be a test for the Dallas Texans boys red 91 team to try to come out on top in this game. Ryan Parr scored a goal. He brings it in to his teammate, Hugo De La Rosa, and it's knocked out on the near side. Knocked out on the near side by the academy team. So De La Rosa, and he gets it over to Parr, looking for De La Rosa at a corner. Will he get to it? No, he won't. However, it was touched lastly, and he was trying to say that they touched it out, the Patiadores, but uh, center ref didn't go for it. Goal kick, driving into midfield. Intercepted there. Here's Keegan Terry. Terry drawing it back for the attack. Uh, the boys in red, and to the central, just missed! Ben Hill, and then a try, and it goes awry. Hill was bringing it down, and he wished his teammate would have got a better shot than that that time. Hill, the big body up there, up forward, and he came up forward that time. Out of bounds, guys! Getting help here in the second half on the attack. Out of bounds! Going to be a throw in on the near side. Tejan couldn't quite get to it. Too high for him. Here's De La Rosa with space. And oh, and he just felt that he had to get it to Ryan Parr quickly and uh, too much pace on a soccer ball. And on the near side, it throwing in. No handball called by the center ref. So they play on toward the central and out to the far side. Alex Lopez drawing it back. Teammate. Only two, three in the deep back, and they push it forward on a long ball, but they cannot get Connor Edgecombe to run onto it. And so get a good look at Edgecombe here in the second half. He playing on the near side of your picture. And Parr, Parr under a lot of pressure as coming back Edgecombe, but Parr throws it in. Lastly knocked out by the blue. Edgecombe now. Edgecombe under a lot of pressure. Ben Hill protecting with the big body of that soccer ball. Now Petrick. And drawing it all the way back to their keeper, Nico Shackleford. And Shackleford, or rather to um, Kashik, and he draws it all the way up.
And now De La Rosa to the near side. De La Rosa, and he, had, he was looking for his teammate that time, Doug Butler, but he didn't get to it. And so they take it away into space. And now they go back down the other way on the counter. And retreating back nicely, though, is Dustin Troy Hall. Hall doing a fine job of getting back there to keep that onslaught from continuing at midfield. We'll send a ref. Allowing him to play on there, Keegan Terry. And then finally he calls a foul. Terry not happy with it at all because it went against him. From the back to the attacking third. However, nobody there. As uh, retreating nicely to get it was Lutke. Giving it to his keeper, Kashik. Off the 50-50 ball, the near side, drawing it back. Hugo De La Rosa, back to Kashik. To the center circle now with Hugo, getting it to Dietrich. De La Rosa couldn't maintain possession of it. They chased it down over there in the far side, Drew Dunn. Dunn, still on the soccer ball, gives it to Jung Park. Park back to Dunn. They work it along the far side. Here is uh, Tijan. Yomet Tijan. Tijan goes around one player. Tijan, a service into the box, and he just couldn't quite get his teammate to get a good enough strike on it. That was Jung Park. Knocked away. The defenders protecting well in the deep back of that 18-yard box. Trying to go back up the field now. However, they still have the touches and maintain possession on the far side now. You've seen Julio Suarez and Suarez as there is a uh, foul. It was either foul was knocked out of play, is probably knocked out of play this time. On a far side touchline, going to be a throw in by the Patiadores and uh, Tejan coming into play, but he couldn't maintain possession. It's taken away by Dietrich. Diedrich over to Lutke. Lutke pushing up forward to Ben Hill. Had a lot of pressure on him that time. And coming up to help out was Dustin Troy Hall to outside and retreating back Will Plesko, knocking it out of play. Plesko knew he was under a lot of pressure there by uh, Keegan Terry. Going to be a throw in now for the Red of the Dallas Texans. Dietrich, service into the box. Too much for Ben Hill. They take it away, push it back up to midfield. De La Rosa looking for Ben Hill again. Just missed him to the wide, but Hugo trying to control it, but he couldn't. Gave way, and he'll go back the other way, but uh, their uh, diagonal pass goes awry on a far side touchline, and now they'll give way to the Texans. First 10 minutes or so here, 15 maybe. Ben Hill, a flick on into the box, trying to get his teammate Ryan Parr to run onto it, but uh, Kymek does a nice job defensively in his space. He brings it up. Kymek still on it. Kymek, he gives it away to Dietrich. Dietrich now with space, and you know he's dangerous. Dietrich to the wide side. On the diagonal, he gave it away, but however, and there's going to be a uh, call by the center ref and a foul and a free kick. Dietrich does a lot of free kicking and uh, he does a lot of quick kicking too. And they get it started. Quickly over to um, Keegan Terry. Terry out to the wide side and no call that time. And let's see what the call is going to be. And there may be a card this time. Dietrich did not feel. He did not like the play and felt that it should have been a call against the player of uh, the other team, and, and this time he ends up drawing the card. Center ref. So the first uh, yellow card of the match. And albeit Dietrich has been hit a few times, and. And it could have been called the other way. 
And it always mounts up in the mind of the player if he's not getting the calls and he's been beat up in the game. And they will give up a yellow card eventually, especially at this age group or older. Now on a counterattack, Ryan Parr, Parr trying to do something toward the interior, but they uh, stiffen up and take it away. However, they're still on the ball is the red and to the wide side is Keegan Terry. Terry settles it down. Terry, the service into the box. Can Parr bring it in? He can't quite. Too much for it that time on a back post for Ryan Parr. So it'll be a goal kick. That try going awry for the boys 91 Dallas Texans team. Pat Theodores with a substitution. We will mention him as they touch that soccer ball as they do not have their numbers on their shorts on the front side. So tough to see, especially with the dark color. <laughs> Going to be a throw in by Kymic. Kymic looking for his teammate on the near side. Now is uh, Edgecombe. Didn't get to it. Ben Hill has it now. Hill now with it. Hill, Hill pass. Nicely done to Ryan Parr. A Parr attacking toward the box. Parr in the box. Find somebody. Oh, almost found somebody, and it was taken away. Almost another try by Hugh Anderson, but he couldn't get to the soccer ball. But here's Dietrich. Or Petrick, that is. Petrick. Petrick now gets it to Parr, but only for a second is coming over there. And uh, the call is made. Offsides. It'll be a uh, free kick. 1-1 one, one your score. Here in the second half. As was mentioned, maybe 17 or 18 minutes gone so far. So we're working our way midway through the second half of this match. Great match here at the Surf Cup. Nice, comfortable temperatures to play the world's most famous sport in. Lots of sunshine. And ball driven toward midfield from the deep back. And the Texans. And here is Kymic. Andy Kymic. Uh, Andy Kymic weaving his way. Andy Kymic. Right foots it. Uh, service into the buck. They do have a shot at it. Just missed. Too high that time. Had a player there. And he was not marked. Took a shot. And he just missed the near post, too high on it. So it stays 1-1 here in the second half. Each team has scored a goal in a half. The goal kick from Shackleford. All the way down, trying to get somebody to run onto it. Center ref says play on. Incidental contact. Halted on the far side. And now who do they have? They have uh, Plesco. Plesco now. Plesco weaving his way. After a touch by Tijan, Plesco now again. Over to Kymak, Andy Kymak. Kymak being pressured though, he's being pressured nicely by Keegan Terry, and Terry does a fine job. And it will be a throw in. Outstanding players, all of these guys in their high school soccer teams. They're showing their skills as a club team here. Terry now, going to work it out to the wide. Does it have too much pace for it? No, Perry, Parr handles it, but uh, he kicked it off of the defender, and that'll work also as Brian Ponce able to keep it from going into the interior of the box. However, he gives up a CK. Parr's already scored a goal here in the second half. He's got the CK here. Short kick over to... Patrick and in up high, and it goes awry. Ben Hill trying to get it on a near post inside, but he was marked heavily that time. A tough play, and now he will come out along with Tanner Patrick 
And who knows what this strategy is. It's probably to bring him back in later. Stephen Halton comes into the contest now. Billy Gazo O'Dwyer into the contest. In the central now. And it goes towards the attacking third, but they can't do anything with it. They give way, and now they'll have to retreat back to the Texans. And a foul. And that foul is going to go against the Texans now, so it's going to be a free kick. And it quickly get it started with Yomed Tejan over to Kymac, looking for a player in the box. Just couldn't quite get it. Too high. However, they still maintain possession. Take a drive, and it's a little too far. No chance that time in the back post to bend that ball in. And so now with the 1-1 score, it's going to be a goal kick. Nico Shackelford has played a fine game as a keeper, driving it all the way past midfield toward the attacking third. Or rather, uh, Kashik was one who driving that ball. Tijan now, Tijan. Tijan weaving his way. Drawing it back. Arambula driving it up to a player. Trying to continue on in the space, but have a lot. They got a lot of problems that time because uh, Keegan Terry is there. They give way now on the attack. The Texans now get to the attacking third and they're dispossessed and back up the field on the counter on a long ball try looking that time for uh, Jung Park too much for it Jung Park to get to it taken away the Texans will go back the other way on their counter Kymic is there he intercepts and he Kymic try to get it to Jung Park and Park didn't get to it Giving away the Texans maintain possession and running down to Central that time was Stephen Halton and Halton watched that ball go a little bit too far past him. It was a long ball try and he wished that one didn't quite have an, as much velocity on it. Otherwise, it would have been 1v with a keeper and it probably would have been a 2-1 score. Going to be a throw in now. Patia is the academy team, playing very well in this game from Mission Viejo. Annie Kymic. Kymic now makes a move. Kymic against the Texans defenders. Uh, a block, but Kymic still has it. And a side by Kashik at the last minute. John Kashik had to go to his left to extend out and make the save, and he does as Kymic got off a decent shot. And here's Kymic again. And this time it's going to work against him as uh, it was a handball. Free kick now. Here's Parr. Parr now. Parr alone. Trying to get around Kymic. He does. Parr accelerating toward the box. Parr still on it. And in the last moment is knocked away by Brian Ponce. Parr, a nice run in the box, but just couldn't quite continue on for a pass. However, now they have a throw in. Over to Keegan Terry. Parr a shot. And it's knocked away. Par, good little sequence here. Keeping, trying to keep the pressure on the Patiadores, the academy team from Southern California. The Texans trying to win this one here and continue on in the Surf Cup 208. Shackelford was played well himself as keeper, teeing it up. But we have substitutions as Jung Park comes out of the contest. And I see we got two players coming out of the contest. Nate Arambula coming out. And the two players will mention as they touch that soccer ball. 
Tejan trying to get it. I know one of them that came in is Jordan Wolf. He's back in there. Remember, he was instrumental in the first half with that assist that led to the goal. In the corner now, the Texans, though, with an opportunity here. Another big offensive try. Got the players in the box. In a 1 1 match. Maybe 20, 25 minutes gone here in the second half. And do the math out of 45, not much. And it just flicked over the top of the net. They had the header and had the good connection that time, but it just went over the top of the net. I believe that was Terry. He, he the one that had his hands up on his head and said, I just missed that one. And that would have been a beautiful two to one score. But we're still at 1 1. As it being brought back, Nico Shackelford, Greg G.K. Porter with George Landon Video Sports Productions enjoying his second half and a 1 1 match. On the near side. You see Edgecombe, Connor Edgecombe, Edgecombe, and he's looking for Jordan Wolf, and he just shot it to the inside of Wolf, and Wolf was trying to go to the outside. 1-1 one, one score. In the corner of that six-yard box, John Kashuk setting it up. Kashuk now going to drive it all the way to midfield. Ryan Parr. Parr gets around Comic, but can't get around the next player, and he got a whistle. It's going to go against Parr. Free kick. Taking it, Brian Ponce. Ponce wants to go diagonally, always dangerous that way. And fortunately for him, Plesco was able to get to it. And knocked off of De La Rosa, teeing it up and just getting into the space was Ponce. Oh, if he doesn't get there, it's a big try for the second goal. And now back the other way on a counterattack quickly. Over to Jordan Wolf. Wolf in the service. He's got Dijon, but not for long as they stiff it up. And let's see, will it be a penalty kick? It will be. Obstruction in the box. And it's going to cost the Texans here on a big try now against their keeper, John Kashik. Who's going to take it? Is it Wolf? Or is it going to be Tijan? It'll be Wolf. He that had the assist in the first goal, trying to put a goal on and have a goal and assist against John Kashik. Can Kashik make the save? Wolf, way over the top of the net! Oh, and he put it too high, and it's still 1-1. Catching a break are the Texans this time as Wolf went too high. Don't give him five, he's just trying to give it away. And so now Kashik, Heart beating a little bit better now as that one. The big quality chance goes way awry. And about maybe 15 minutes left to go. And substitutions again for the Texans now. As coming in, Ziad Z. Lamon, number six. And Jared Blinko, number 19. And on the near side with Hugh Anderson. Anderson, he finds that Rosa with space and time and a save. Nice save by Shackelford, but Del Rosa had time that time. And he tried to bend it and beat the keeper, but just could not. And quickly, in a span of 30 seconds or so, you see both teams having a point blank shot, not able to connect. One of the penalty variety, and here's Tajan weaving his way, and they knock it out of play. Ah, 
action been very, very good. That of a championship variety in this game. And we still got that time before the championship. Both of these two teams wanting to be the team that is the champion. Trying to win this game here. Wolf, Ben Zed has a teammate to flick it on toward the net. And that'd be uh, Stephen Halton. Nicely handled, though. Yes, Akuchi knocking it out of play. Ryan, who had to, had to retreat back that time. Hugh Anderson now on it after the throw in into the interior of the box. I believe that was Ponce knocking it out of there. Tejan trying to get to it. Here's Wolf. Wolf was time. Over to Kymek. Kymek in the central. On the outside now, Will Plesko. Plesko gives it away. Plesko has to run back, and he's got his teammate who cuts off the striker in Yasakuchi. Brian, knowing that that time, Plesko wasn't going to be able to chase him down, so he cut off the space defensively on that diagonal run across. 1-1, one, one, still your score here as we work late in the second half. That ball goes past the goal line. And so the chance goes awry for the Texans. And they're going to give way to the Patiadores trying to work it down the field. The Texans, the North. Texas State champions of this year in uh, 07, last year in 05. Regional semifinalists this year. They were finalists in uh, 06, the Premier uh, League West from 2005 all the way to, to last year, winning that tournament. And the Disney Showcase, the same thing. And the Classic League Grand Champions of 2003 and 2006. Kymic now trying to get something going with his team against this Texans team who's tied it up here in the second half with Ponce. Ryan Ponce going to give it to Kymic to throw it in. Kymic throws it in. Over to Tijan. Settles it down. Tijan weaves around one player. Goes around two. Toward the central now. Finds a teammate there. And he drives it on over to uh, Lopez. Back to Tijan. Tijan settling down. They take their time over to Kymic. They work with a different pace now. Trying to get a good quality shot and they gave it away nicely done in the space by hugo de la rosa who gets it going on the counter down to central with uh gazo dwyer and then ponce gets back there and it's going to be what do we have we have a uh, free kick free kick going to be bought brought back here Across the midfield stripe. Hugo De La Rosa. Hugo now driving it right down the central of the box. But getting back is Ponce to knock it out. And almost a dangerous play that time by David Felix. Felix knocking it off of a, a Texans player, and they throw it in, in the corner. In their own defensive uh, third, trying to work their way out of it. Tejan, but not so fast, says O'Dwyer and company. De La Rosa, now it's over to um, O'Dwyer, takes a blast at a far post, and a save is made that time. My Shackleford. 
Shagafer gets it started quickly on the counter. Nine minutes to go. On the far side, they get to the central. But De La Rosa can't get to it. His teammate working hard. O'Dwyer. O'Dwyer, nobody there. Had more time, and uh, his teammates quite a bit back of that uh, try to get some offensive uh, attack going in the third. And now they're going to have a substitution, and Ben Hill, uh, the SMU entry is coming in. Back in the central, that attacking central. About 10 minutes left to go. So if you look on that clock, we'd be at the uh, 80th minute mark. Down the middle, Ben Hill, a big chance here. Hill still on a soccer ball. Hill now being guarded closely and cannot continue on with it. However, his teammate flicks it over to the keeper and the keeper able to make the save. Shackelford really concerned about Hill coming down the middle there. And his defender played excellently that time in order to keep Hill from scoring the goal ahead goal. Here's Kymick going the other way. Andy Kymick for the academy team. And taken away into space. Nicely done that time by Lamont. Ziadzi Lamont. And now his teammates going back the other way. Trying to attack and take a blast. And Hugh Anderson, not the one he wanted that time. Gave it away. And now they'll have a uh, goal kick. Time wasted off the clock, too. It would have been good if he had the two to one lead. Ball driven right back to Shackelford. Shackelford now. Shackelford driving it down the field. Jordan Wolf, nobody was there. He flicked it forward, but nobody was there. I think he thought that uh, his teammate was a little bit f more forward that time. But he wasn't there. In the central now, will they have trouble? Ponce helps them out as uh, Tejon on the near side, but it couldn't handle it as David Felix didn't get to it. And now down to central. Will Plesko, Plesko trying to make a defensive stand, having a hard time, as with speed on the outside, Lemon. He drops it off for a runner and Lutke, Lutke in the corner, and his shot goes awry. But Lutke made a nice run there from the back, hoping that he might get a better quality shot. All the way to midfield, up in the air. De La Rosa, undoubtedly, who scores now in these next few minutes, will probably win the match. David Felix now, the call against him. Free kick. Jared Blinko. Blinko. Nice, down to central for Ben Hill. Up in the air. Who's going to win a 50-50? They bring it down to the Texans. They have control of it. Trying to settle there is Lemon. He does. To the outside now to O'Dwyer. O'Dwyer having trouble with it, and it goes out of play, and it will be a throw in as it was knocked out by the dark blue. The Patiadores. Actually, a foul. So it's going to be a free kick. Didn't see that. A foul on the play, and now they have the good set piece try here. Big set piece at this stage of the game. The bending ball, left foot a try, and they nearly missed it on a far pose. Oh, they had a player up high, and he had time. He just didn't connect with the ball. Nice design play that time. They just couldn't quite connect. Jared Blinko 
It was there on his table, but he just couldn't quite connect with the soccer ball. If he does, more than likely it's 2-1. Up to midfield. Off to 50-50. De La Rosa on it. Time running out in the match. Into the corner to the other De La Rosa. And that's uh, David De La Rosa. David now instrumental in the first goal. He has one player run by it. Here's Hill. And he just missed it on the top side. Hill a swipe at it and he nearly put it inside the back of the net. But it was just a little bit too high. 1-1. One, one. The goal kick. Patiadores. Do they have enough to keep them off the scoreboard and win this count contest? Do they have enough to put the offensive scenario going and get it in the back of the net? Now they have the soccer ball. Here's Plesko. He's going to long ball it. Looking for Tejan. He has it. Tejan has been dangerous. Tejan. Now he can't continue on. However, they call it against the Texans and the center ref. So now it'll be a free kick. Tejan's actions, his aggressiveness helped this team out that time. And now it'll be Jordan Wolf. Wolf with a free kick. Wolf wants to get it in the 18 yard box. Wolf wants to get a goal along with his teammates. Time running out. Into the box. A six yard box. I get a header and a goal. Two to one. I believe it was your man in it. Was Tejan. Your man Tejan up high, and he's able to get it in the corner of the net, and it's 2 1. They had accuracy on the shot that time, and they had bodies there, and one of them connected just to the opposite of what happened on the other end, and it almost a 2 1 lead. So now it's in the dark blue with Felix now. Looking for Tijan, he's not going to get to it. And Felix has it now. Center ref says play on. Felix again, driving and nobody there. Going to give way. But Wolf has it as they're able to play uh, tough in the central, in the midfield area. To the outside now. Here's Dunn. Done with it. Has time. Service toward the box, but nobody's there. De La Rosa is there for the Texans, and they want to get it going. De La Rosa. Hugo and David now looking at it on a 50-50 try, but he won't win it. Few minutes left. Met there by Hugo De La Rosa, and they're still maintaining possession of it. Blinko, Blinko with time, and his service was uh, too high. De La Rosa now trying to maintain possession in the space, but he can't get to it. Taken away. And driven on the far side for uh, Tejan. Tejan using that soccer ball, his feet with the soccer ball in one accord now, creating problems in a corner as it goes out of play, and they're going to get a corner kick. No, it won't be a corner kick. It will be a goal kick as uh, Tejan knocked it out. Beautiful play by Lutke in a corner, creating a situation where Tejan knocked it out. Kymic over to Felix. Felix trying to settle it down. Felix has it. Back to Kymic. They don't have to score. They just have to keep possession of it. However, De La Rosa has it. Time running out. And now they'll go diagonally, and that works for them, the Patiadores. And the ball now, let's see. Do we have a card? Or the ref says play on with a foul against the Patiadores. And it's going to be a free kick. All the way down in the box, and the keeper's just able to reach out at the last moment. And Ben Hill looking for him to let the rebound go. 
just missed the try there. Otherwise, it would have been 2-2. Two -two. The keeper, Shackelford, being able to reach out at the last moment with Hill standing right there in his presence. Shackelford has played a fine game, and he's had to. The Texans now trying to come back down, and a foul in his face. No, no foul. They say keep going. As in the far side. O'Dwyer and company now to try to set it to Hill, the company, and they had uh, halted there, but he couldn't get to it. In the far side. And it's going to be a, uh, a foul going against. And it's going to be a set piece here. Into injury time, so to speak, here. Unofficially, as we have it counted. The bending ball trying to flick it on. Ponce gets to it first. And that ends it. The final score. A great game played by two under 19 clubs here at the Surf Cup 2008. We hope you enjoyed the action where the Dallas Texans, the outstanding team in their own state, and they are very tough in other tournaments too, and they just fall short two to one. Uh, the Mission Viejo Academy team stalwarts in this game, the Patiadores. And we'll have some uh, closing comments from those who were in this game today in just a moment, so stick with us. Greg Porter back here with Tanner Petrick from the Dallas Texans boys uh, 91 team. And uh, talk a little bit about this game, Tanner. You guys uh, seem to have some great possessions and some, some chances, and especially that one uh, possible flick on the header in the end. Talk a little bit about this game. Yeah, it was a fast-paced game, uh, back and forth, a lot of counterattacking. It was a tough battle. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we were unlucky to come out in the end, but they're a good team. Yeah, I mean, uh, they're an academy team, and they, you know, kind of have some, you know, things that they can do to technically to uh, keep the other team off balance, and they did that today, didn't they? Yeah, their skill was pretty good in a high-paced game, and skills there, yeah. All righty. And uh, you're looking forward to uh, some soccer in college. Uh, what which uh, college are you going to? I'm heading off to the University of Tulsa. Okay. Looking forward to that? Yeah, yeah. All righty. Uh, so uh, you got to get ready for that real quick, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All righty. All righty. All right. All um, good luck and a uh, great game. Greg Border back here with another uh, Dallas Texan uh, boys red team player. And you are? Keegan Terry. Keegan, talk a little bit about this game today, the tournament so far for you guys. Um, the first game, uh, it started out against Surf Cup. Mm -hmm. Against Surf, it wasn't the best of our uh, games, I guess. We mm -hmm. couldn't finish. We lost 3-0. This game we came out, played hard, but we just couldn't put our chances away. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they get the last goal and they ended up winning. It's, I guess it's not a good story for the both games, but I guess next game we'll have to come, come back and play harder. Is there a championship in this uh, bracket? Uh, for the academy, no, there's not. Just three games, and then I guess who does the best is, I guess, claim the champion. Okay. So basically, uh, what you got to do is just uh, come out somehow, make something out of the next game. You got one more chance, right? Yes, sir. We got to come out, play hard, finish our chances, and hopefully get the W. Okay. Well, I think you guys uh, played uh, well in both halves. Uh, you know, maybe maybe some couple of chances just didn't go your way. It was one of those days, and you know, you know how soccer goes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, you looking to go to uh, college? Yes, I am. Okay. What's what school? Uh. Right now, I'm not really. I haven't decided. I'm just waiting okay. to get a scholarship. I'm committed, right? Yeah, I'm committed. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank Keegan, you. Keegan, and uh, best to you in the future. Thank you. Greg Porter back here with Ben Hill. Um, ben, talk a little bit about this game today. Um, a tough one for you because it seemed like, you know, they put a lot of pressure on you, um, you know, put a vice basically on you to try to keep you from scoring. Um, some probably legal and some probably illegal, but, uh, you know, it was a tough game, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, they, they have a good defense, and uh, they're very physical. It was very difficult to get past them, but uh, we just had to get, get those through balls through and uh, mm -hmm. get the 
final finish. Yeah, there were a few times uh, when, you know, it seemed like you had a, a good opportunity or whatever and, mm -hmm. and maybe not. Yeah. I, think, I think maybe they wasted some opportunities probably more than you guys in a sense. I think, you know, from an offensive standpoint, you guys uh, put a lot of pressure on them and it just wasn't you guys' day. Yeah, uh, we just got to calm down right, right when we're in front of the goal and calm down and finish and yeah. find those corners. Yeah, that last uh, opportunity uh, across the uh, mouth of the goal and a, and a flick on in the back of the net just didn't go, and that, that might have been the difference. Yeah, it definitely was a the difference. They, uh, they did a good job finishing the opportunities that they got. You're getting ready to go to uh, college and play at uh, where? SMU. Okay. SMU. Uh, Southern Methodist University, um, they're famous. Uh, they have a, a player that I remember uh, when I was uh, younger uh, that played for the uh, Los Angeles Rams. Uh, I think you know who I'm talking about. No, I he don't. He was a football player. Who was that? Okay, it was... Um, well, now I'm now I'm forgetting his name and stuff. He's a good friend of my brothers and stuff, but uh, he's a great running back, um, Eric Dickerson. That's right. right. And uh, now now the memory comes back. Ed. Yeah. So um, yeah, he's a great. And then then other guys, uh, Craig James, and other players come to mind and stuff. Um, I know they have a great program, and I know you're looking forward to being a stalwart of that. I'm very excited. Uh, just gotta get through this year. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, good luck in the rest of this tournament. I know the next game is crucial for you guys, and uh, good luck towards winning that one. Thank you. The Dallas Texans 91 boys red team and a great game against the Patiadores from Mission Viejo and the Mission Viejo Patiadores Academy team won two to one. Uh, the uh, Dallas Texans scoring a goal in the second half to make it very, very interesting. And actually, the Patiadores had a chance to put it away with a penalty kick and miss that one. And it took a, a very nice service into the box to Yamed Tajan in order to get that two to one lead and be able to hold on and the victory against the Dallas Texans team. We hope you enjoyed all of the action. I'm Greg Porter for George Landvin Video Sports Productions saying take care of yourself, God bless, and save this one on the hard drive.